Welcome to Lexington County Public Library Storytime with me, Miss Josie. We're going to play some games, sing some songs, and read a book. So we're going to play Little Mouse. So the way you play Little Mouse is you have to do this rhyme. Well, we would say, Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the orange house? And we would look and see if he's in orange and he's not there. All right. So let's get started. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the? Hmm. Where do you want to go first? Greenhouse. No, no Little Mouse. Let's see, where should we go next? Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the? Blue House? Let's see. No. Where, how about? Hmm. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the gray house? No, Little Mouse. Let's see. What's a good holiday color? Santa suit is this color. Holly berries are this color. What color do you think I'm talking about? That's right. Red. Let's try red. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the red house? There he is! And look! He has a Santa hat! He's all decked out for the holidays. Do you want to play again? Okay. Hold on while I reset the board. All right. Little Mouse is hidden again. Let's go through the colors really quick. What's this one? That's right. It's red. And this one? Orange. How about this one? Purple. Look, and they're right next door to each other. They must be Clemson fans. How about over here? Blue. Yep, that's yellow. Good job. How about this one? Pink, gray, and green. Good job, you guys. All right, let's say, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the... He seemed to like those holiday colors, so let's try those first. Greenhouse. No. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the red house? No. Is there another color that makes you think of holidays? I don't know. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the gray house? No. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the... <gasps> Let's try purple. Purple house? There he is! We found him. He was in the purple house. He's such a cute little mouse. He likes to hide. All right. We'll see you later, little mouse. You have a happy holiday. Hopefully Santa brings you some cheese. We are going to read this book. Do you have any idea why I might have chose this book? It is Christmas time after all. It's called The Night Before Christmas by Clement Moore, with illustrations by Antonio Javier Caparo, read with permission by Little Simon. This is a really old poem that was written a long time ago. So you may see lots of different books with different illustrations, but it's the same poem. Let's get started. The Night Before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds "'while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. "'And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, 
I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away, all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoop. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples on merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Look at his shoes. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he rode out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. So we have this fun little poem that has some rhyming in it. Do you know what rhyming means? Words that rhyme are like cat, hat. They both have the same ending sound of at. So this poem is gonna have some rhymes that are gonna give you hints as to what color Rudolph's nose might be. Let's get started. Rudolph, Rudolph, what will you do? You can't guide Santa's sleigh if your nose is Blue! Rudolph, Rudolph, you're such a silly fellow. Who will know it's you if your nose is yellow? Rudolph, Rudolph, your way cannot be seen through the wintry weather if your nose is green. Rudolph, Rudolph, Santa gave a wink, but what will he say if your nose is pink? Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to fly at night, but you can't get through the snow if your nose is white. Rudolph, Rudolph, it's time to go to town, but you can't help Santa if your nose is brown. Rudolph, Rudolph, Santa has a sack, but you're not ready if your nose is black. Rudolph, Rudolph, the children are in bed and now we can get on our way because your nose is red. He needs his red nose to light up the sky for Santa. Good job, Rudolph. Good job, you guys, with the rhymes. All right, I hope you had fun today, and I hope you're having a great holiday season. We're gonna do our goodbye song, but first, I have to get ready. Hold on, just a minute. All right, I'm ready. I have my snowman holiday hat on, and some of my friends 
that we do our closing song also have beautiful holiday hats. So let's sing our goodbye song. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, lady bug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season, and we hope to see you soon at the library. Bye, friends.